Hi, I'm Janie from Quilt Central Academy. I want to talk to you about penny size patterns because I've had a lot of questions about them. They're fitting a smaller border or they're for the shorter reach machines like if you use your domestic machine on a long arm frame or if you have a Cunique that's a 14 or 15 inch reach. You need to start out with a smaller pattern so if you put a queen size quilt on you can reach all the way across it by the time you get to the other side. So these are about three and a half inches. So there's six on a sheet. They're $30 a sheet or they'll sell, we sell four for a hundred so that gets a bargain. So here's one sheet here. So that's like unit one. This is like unit two and we love this one with a scroll on it. Unit two. Here's one. Unit three. It even has meandering on it which is neat for those that are just starting out. This is unit four, and I want to talk to you a little bit about it. This is a single line pattern. This is a double line pattern. You can run just the black, not the green, just the green and not the black, or run them together, so that's considered three patterns, so you really get more for your dollar this way. And then here's three different ones, and also here, and this is called a scotch plaid, and this is really a neat one because you can readjust your laser light to get different designs. You can go as small as a one inch grid or you can like run, let's say the purple line and then reset your laser light and set the green line way out here so that you could get a six inch grid or something like that across your quilt where it might be difficult to reach that on a smaller reach machine. And then how do you do corners when they don't sell corners? So here's a pattern grid which we um, sell for 150 as it's got all the tools and a booklet and how to use it. But here is a piece that I've cut from one of our 12 and a half um, foot uh, pantographs, penny size pantographs. So I'm going to fold this, let's see if I can do it this way, into a right angle for a corner. So you can move this in and out to see if what you want on your corner, how you want it to look. But I kind of like having a like a little flowerette right on the corner. So you can take this, draw it on here because this is uh, wet erase, and you draw your corners on here, and then you don't have to take your quilt off, turn it, put it back on to do the other sides, and just work your way down the side. When you get to the bottom, you could take you can flip this the other way so that your corners are opposite. So this is how penny size patterns work, and. Um, you can give us a call at 608-563-4415 or go to the website quiltcentralacademy.com or quiltingmachines.com.